I'm Gary Pallister, and you're watching Mariners TV. So, Lee, disappointing day. How do you reflect on the game? Disappointing, as you say, and, and hugely, hugely frustrating. Um, you know, the first top performance in our eyes, you know, both myself and Graham feel like it was just unacceptable performance from us uh, in terms of, you know, it was never going to be the perfect day for for fast flowing football because of the conditions but um, regardless of whether it is or it isn't one of those days um, there's kind of bare minimum standards that we expect in terms of kind of our grit and determination and uh, work ethic um, and competitiveness and, and that was unfortunately sorely lacking in the first half. Do you feel you got more of that in the second half when we got the goal and we started to get going? Yeah, you know, we said after the game well look, we, we set the target at half time, you know to, to go and try and win the second half and we did that and it was better, a lot better um, again we didn't do anything out of the ordinary in terms of, in terms of our football um, and again you know the, the, the conditions were, were, were tough um, to, try and, you know, to try and play the, you know, the type of football that obviously we like, we like to play but um, we, just showed, we just showed more desire and uh, and it looked like it meant something to us. And again, we're, we're, it's it's just even more. It's doubly frustrating um, after off the back of last week's you know performance and result. Uh, we've got to uh, collectively, we've got to try and find a you know a way to address this this kind of uh, this this ever growing issue of. Of how we match our, you know, our performances, our results, you know, from Mariners Park to to away from home. Lots of different variations of why that might be in terms of the away form. Is there anything that you can put your finger on yourself that you think might be playing a part in it? Um, that's for me and Graham to really, really mull over over the next the next few days. Um, obviously the next game, next game's coming thick and fast. We're we're away from home on Tuesday night and. Um, Maybe with hindsight, we could have um, we could have we could have shuffled the pack and, and looked at the conditions and thought personnel wise, do we change things? It's obviously really difficult to do that off the back of a five nil win with such a, a fantastic performance in the last game. But maybe maybe we have to start contemplating a kind of horses for courses, more of a horses for courses type mentality. And uh, yeah, so that's something that me and Graham are going to have to give some real serious thought to. Lee Mason scored our goal today as well. Was he one of the, the positives of the day? I thought so. I thought I thought Gary Brown was the pick of the bunch in our in, the, in our first half performance. Um, I thought Lee was one of the few players in the in the first half that came out with any any real credit. And uh, obviously, you know, his 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 goal that he scored today was a, an, an absolutely tremendous finish. Um, so yeah, I would say Lee's one of the few. A few real plus points to come out of today's game. Go to hide on Tuesday after your team will know a lot about from last season, so you know what sort of tough test you can have on, on Tuesday. Yeah. Well, you know, we've we found out that every every game is going to be a big test for us, um, especially away away from home. And um, I think there's a lot of players in our squad who need to. Who need to respond in a really, really positive way on, on Tuesday. Um, because if we're not careful, the, the situation, the league table is gonna is gonna get too far away from us. And we're gonna be in a position that nobody wants to be in if we don't sort ourselves out really soon. And that's for you know for myself, Graham and, and everybody within the camp to again pull together, have honest discussions about how we move forwards from here, and uh, and, and put it right. You know, if we're, we we've got that game just around the corner, which is probably a good thing after today. And uh, there's kind of no hiding place now. We've got to we've all got to show our metal, and show our you know our determination and, and, and our 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 qualities across the board to. Uh, to put things right and, and get back 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 to winning ways. The away form might not be great at the moment, but we're still getting great followings and, and big numbers for two away games, and that was the case again today. What would you say to those who, who travelled today? 
I'd say they deserve more. They deserve more than what we collectively as a group are giving them, you know, generally speaking, in a way, performances at the moment. Um, it, it genuinely hurts me and, and Graham and, um, you know, Andy and Phil and the other staff and, um, and I'm sure I'm sure it does hurt the players as well, because um, yes, we, you know we're having a couple of kind of tough tough moments uh, as a group together, but we've got a, we've got a great set of great set of people in that dressing room, and we've got to we've just got to find the find the solutions to the challenges that we face together. Um, but definitely, the, the fans definitely deserve more than what we're giving them uh, in our away performances at the moment.